Hey guys, or 26 here, and welcome back to another episode of Brutal Mario World. So let's go into Sky Sky's Beach Sun. Eh, whatever. Alright, so these enemies right here, they... They take two hits to die. Actually, if you use a spin jump, they take one hit. But if you jump on them regularly, they take two hits. But these small ones can be killed with either one. All right, um... Alright, next one is Rickety Race. Now, this one's a very interesting one. Now, it's just like the other cart when we had this time, except this time we're on a time limit. And we need to click these cross ones to go ahead and prove the time. But if we, t if we touch any of the X circle ones, it will go ahead and decrease our time. So we need to be careful. All right, it's time to use this to do this mini game again. All right. All right. All right. What the Bowser, you're going down. You're going down, son. There we go. All right. Chain Chomp Panic One. Okay. Alright, so this one, as you probably saw on the map, has a secret exit. So we're gonna have to go ahead and get that. All right. All right. No, these chain chomps are pretty cool. All 
All right, this part's pretty unique. We got um, we have this chain chomp that every so often it comes down. It will destroy part of the ground. We need to use that to our advantage by just continuously continue. Just by continuously. All right, this part right here, we need it to go past. All right. All right, that's the secret exit right there. It's not really that special. It just takes you up to the to a different world. We're not going to be using it because obviously we want to 100% it. All right. All right, um, let's get the star. Let's go. All right, there we go. All right. Actually, I believe this mechanic actually was in Yoshi's Island. Um, correct me if I'm wrong about that. I mean, with all the references to other games in this game, I wouldn't be that surprised if it is. All right, so. All right, so. Now we got a little bit of a special one. Where is this? For some reason, you're not allowed to have Yoshi here, but as you can tell, it's actually kind of special because we got, like, the old Super Mario Bros. style. It's pretty cool, but... Uh, with my overpowered cape feather, I can just fly through most of the stage. Um, okay, um... Um, all right, so, also, yes, it's, um, if you can tell correctly, we actually can't go backwards, something that you can usually do in the rest of the game, 
it's just it's again it's a callback to the Super Mario Bros. One and how you couldn't go um couldn't go backwards. These are actually based off the first three four Mario stages. Uh you can pretty much guess where it's what the, what the fourth stage is gonna be if you guess that. Like the first four ones in World One, like it's actually all the levels in World One. All right, we got the, we just got this cool theme, and all right, and we got Castle Crush, which is the second to last stage. Let's do this. This one actually also has a secret exit in it, but you couldn't really tell by just looking at it. Um, okay. The cape, um, the cape, um, the cape annihilates these things. The spin jump will go, go, just goes right over them. So, getting past those hammer bros is not even remotely an issue. All right, so this sh this part should be a lot le um a lot more forgiving because I can actually get bounce up to get a little more of a lead. These charging chucks aren't a problem because I can just I can just spin jump and destroy both of them. This is actually how you get the secret exit. You can go straight through that wall, go up a little bit. I'm I'm a lot actually. All right, so we just have to wait for that. Go for the pipe, and there's the exit. <laughs> Another warp star. So let's complete the level for real this time. I'm still gonna. I'm actually still gonna use the secret exit because just because it's faster. All right. All right. Again, if you just continue to go up. All right. You don't have to worry about any enemies in the state, so it's great. As usual, I can get myself a free one up just for being there. All right, this boss is kind of cool. You have to um, both of the eyes shoot up, can shoot up like these little beams, and I don't know how this is. Alright, you have to jump on that eye in order to damage it. If you just if you just sit here and spin, nothing can stop you.
Alright. Wait. Again, stand here. Spin. Spin constantly and nothing can stop you. Spin. There we go. It's not a hard boss fight. Oh, lift go. What? Lift go one? Uh, whatever, let's just get going. Wow, that was really easy. All right. All right, so... Alright, now it's time for the last level. Aboard of Larry. Alright. Alright, there's no... There's... No, this castle is kind of confusing, so I'll explain it to you. So basically, this way right here, if we, we can go to this room right here, kill all the enemies... You will defeat the, the boo Well, white. You will take the boss path. If you defeat the boo while red, you will find the orb. Pretty vague, yeah. All right, if you go ahead and hit the switch right there.
All right. In the middle room, up, down, left, right. So in the middle room, up, up, down, left, right. All right. It doesn't make any sense, but what he's actually what he, what it's supposed to be saying is that I haven't actually showed you it yet, but um, if you go. If you go into this middle room, there's nothing. Like, if you go up, down, left, right, and the door will appear. Up, down, left, right. All right, there we go. That's that's that was very weird. I don't know why that happened. Okay. 